Right, in the end, after all the work that you did in your timeline, and I kept it simple in this example, um, you want to create a video that you can upload to YouTube or write on a DVD for your family or for your business or whatever. Eventually, you want to export your project to a video format. And Filmora provides you with a lot of options, and I'm not going to cover all of them. I'm going to cover the ones that I use and um, I don't export directly to YouTube, Vimeo or DVD. I only export to MP4 because that's a format that works always. And all the other things are exotic variations for the video. Uh, MP4 works great on every device that I know. And um, so I'm going to focus on that. And what you can do is create the name for your video and you can choose a location where you uh, want to store the exported file and you can move you can move that uh, later of course but this is the location where Filmora will place it you will see uh, how big the video will get and uh, how the higher the quality of your video and especially also what you used as raw material the higher the, uh, the quality the bigger this size will be. Uh, this is a small clip with not a very high quality. Uh, my videos, um, if I shoot in 4K, then videos can be one, two, three gigabyte, no, uh, no problem. Um, and if you want to play with that size, you can also use the settings. You see here the resolution, that's the resolution that I choose when I start the project, the default res uh, ratio for widescreen. And the frame rate is 25 fps if you film in 4k um, i often film in 4k with uh, my osmo pocket on 60 frames per second but that's not always necessary that high quality um, the videos that you post on youtube are rarely watched on a on a, on a big 4k tele television 4k and um, yeah maybe 4k in dollars but <laughs> not in resolutions uh, settings um, the settings you can choose good better and best and what you see happening in the settings below is that especially the bitrate is uh, automatically changed if you choose good better or best but if you choose good then the size will be 45 in this case if I set it to best then the size will be 74 you can imagine that if you were numbers go up from uh, 600 700 mb that a change in that setting will mean that it becomes almost twice as big N not uh, not twice as big but a lot bigger and if you use these settings i would say 30 is enough i i read somewhere that the human eye is not even capable of seeing more than 30 frames a second so if you film uh, with a normal video let's say that if you have a an, an action video and you want to do uh, produce slow motion with that then it's good to film with a higher FPS rate because you slow down your video and in that case uh, you will also slow down the frames so then if you film at 60 frames per second and you slow down the video by 50% you still have 30 frames per second left um, the bitrate uh, for the best quality is uh, as default 10 but you can even put it higher but let's see if I take this one up then immediately my file becomes a 500 MB and that's ridiculous for a small clip like this one so be aware of uh, picking the right ones and test it maybe your material is that good that if you choose good and you and you look the um, you look at the, the result then it will be probably fine um, with the audio I wouldn't touch that just leave it that way it's fine as it is the default values if you start playing around and you want to reset it choose default and everything will be like it is for the best quality of your video the only thing that I play around with sometimes if I want to uh, have an mp3 file just for the sound let's say that I downloaded a video and it has a certain sound effect in it if I uh, trim that video, 
and I re uh, remove the video and I have detached the audio and I want to have an MP3 of it because I want to use it as a sound effect, then it's very easy to export that this way. Um, so I had a, a, a drum uh, sound somewhere in a video and I wanted to have that drum sound as a sound effect so I can edit on an audio track wherever I want, then you can uh, export a video like MP3 and then you will only have the sound and no the video. So the name, the location and the quality and uh, choose export and be aware, uh, depending on the type of computer you have, uh, the resources that it needs might be uh, considerable. So this can take a while. Uh, don't be surprised that if your video is 10 minutes, that it takes 10 minutes to create the uh, video. And in some cases, your hardware is so fast that it uh, can be done faster. But uh, in a lot of cases, I start uh, <laughs> the export and I go make a cup of coffee and I uh, go back in uh, 15, 20 or even 30 minutes. I never have uh, errors in, uh, in, in this, but it can just take a while. So be uh, patient. And as soon as the, uh, the export is ready, I have set it to a sound reminder. So I will get a sound reminder when it's finished. There it was. And if I don't want to look up the folder myself, I can just click find target and for more I will open the folder where I just created my video. So this is the export of your video. Eventually this is what you are working for, making the video and upload it so other people can enjoy it as well.